Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Crimson Panda here with another Mercenaries PvP video. Now, in today's video, we have a brand new Mr. Smite combo build. This was posted on Discord by my very good friend Ray Ray, who actually has been participating in the community comp series that I was doing a little while ago. So uh, he comes up with some very unique, very fun builds. So head over to the Discord if you haven't already and check out some of his comps on there that he posts every now and then. But this is one of them and it is a Mr. Smite build which is always fun so let me run through the comp so we have Elise Reno and one zombie in the opener and then we have our Cornelius and Mr. Smite and patches on the bench so what's really unique about this is that you can use Mr. Smite in a couple of different ways being used for Bwam Zombie, you can actually make everything target into him so that Mr. Smite can then benefit off of him as a friendly character taking damage with the overboard. Um, or the original way with Cornelius being able to bless and a sacrifice on him and then any sort of damage go into Mr. Smite once he attacks into stuff. Obviously, Cornelius takes that damage. He's a friendly unit. Mr. Smite goes crazy. And Patches obviously in there with the eye cap in because this is going to summon a full board of pirates which attack they are friendly units which is going to trigger mr smite as well um so just a very good solid mr smite build you use elise to buff him a little bit on the bench reno is there just because reno's death rattle was de uh, pretty decent being able to make stuff go into reno as well on turn one and zambi's there to guarantee the combo going on turn two because you can use his deal which is going to bring all of your units back to the bench. Being able to bring out all three of these, like your Cornelius, Mr. Smite, and Patches are probably the most consistent ones. Um, bringing all three of those out at the same time, being able to enable the combo at the highest of two speed, uh, or three speed, sorry. So Cornelius is two speed on the blessing smite is overboard at three speed and then obviously patches it doesn't matter when he happens because as soon as mr smite or something gets hit mr smite goes crazy ends up with a ridiculous amount of stats like almost 100 attack and almost 200 health it's like 150 odd health so he gets absolutely massive um but the other way of doing it is zambi so once zambi dies he death rattles refreshes your merc so if you can kind of get him low enough on the first turn to be at a very low total of health um, and you can guarantee him dying off then the battle cry is actually going to enable you to be able to miss the smite combo with him and miss the smite combo with cornelius so a very very solid mr smite build i think this is probably the best mr smite build to date um obviously we have a lot more mercenaries to mess around with to try it out so um massive props to ray ray for coming up with this comp i hope you like the video if you're watching it ray it's it's a, definitely a very fun build to try um i'll run through the equipments with you guys and then get straight into the gameplay so at least we're using the oasis Reno, we have his treasure. Zambi, we have the arena contender. Cornelia, Shield of Dawn. Mr. Smite, heavy anchor, so he gains attack as well from the pirates. And patches, we're using arm locker so that the pirates, once they attack, gain attack as well, which is obviously what helps Mr. Smite grow to a huge amount of stats. So um, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Um, please like and retweet it on Twitter as well. That really helps get in um, some of that other sort of audience in and uh, enjoy the gameplay and i'll see you in the next video one two three okay so we are elise reno and zambi and we are going to transition into the mr smite combo by hopefully getting it off twice by having zambi die whilst we have patches and smite up and then transition into cornelius with the refresh from the death rattle to be able to do it again that is the perfect case scenario but sometimes you need to use cornelius before zambi so therefore you just get the combo off once okay not good when it's a turn one rope or a start of match rope <clears throat> kadgar lokalar last wow it's not ending we get roped but it's frost as well. This has the blizzard, so that's going to obviously do the blizzard. This is going to shoot anyway, so we may as well just go there and we will go for a bounce. Go for a bounce. This might be the Cornelius one I was talking about because obviously Lokalar is going to be doing stuff. We have to bounce and bring out the combo next turn because Kadgar is obviously, there we go, going to use his route this turn so he won't have access to it next turn. Bounce didn't matter because we lost our units. <laughs> 
So we can do one of two ways here. We can either bring out Zambi, make everything go into him, which isn't going to go into him because it's all random. Or we go Cornelius and take less damage. So I think this is the matchup where you have to use Cornelius. So Cornelius on the left, these two to the side. <clears throat> so hopefully, best case scenario, this is going to clear out. We don't want to get frozen by anything. So this here. Oh, okay. He's gone for at the end of each turn, give your characters five health, which is just not right. So we go two, we go three, we go nine. Cold Snap's not going to freeze us. It's actually going to be a pretty huge amount of damage, hopefully, depending on where this hits, which, here we go. This is just endless now. So they don't have very high attacks, so Cornelius is just going to absorb it all, and this will probably just clear out this, these three units, so it will 100%. And the good thing here is there's no Jaina, so Jaina sometimes gets in the way, and even though it's immune, you still attack it, whereas this is just cleared up. The attack hits Cornelius, and then there we go. And we even have some pirates to just mess around with that aren't going to do anything. At a full speed, nonetheless. So, yeah, we have a 59-173. Uh, let's uh, symmetricalize this. Mr. Smite. So, 8 speed Mr. Smite <clears throat> kills this. This is going for a buff or a one-shot. So, we can actually just kill off the Sinestra here. Don't necessarily think we need to heal. We'll send our pirates in. What's priority? It's probably Khadgar, right? It's going to stop the attack next turn. So we'll just send everything into Khadgar. <clears throat> this just dies even though it might go for the a two speed just to protect itself. It's not. It's still going for the, uh, the five speed heal. So we just kill that. Oh, shoot. He had a blizzard? How did he have blizzard? I thought he was going for the heal this turn. I don't think he had the blizzard. Did he heal last turn? Did I just miss it? <laughs> okay, so does he have access to the five speed now? We gave for combo on round two. Yeah, okay, there's the heart fire. We still, obviously, we have pirates. He's denying a few of them, so we're still going to get some swings in here. And this is actually just going to clear up easily. Cornelius is obviously going to absorb the damage. So the bounce to enable the turn two smart combo is huge. Nice. There we go. 85, 184. Two, two, and two. So what we're trying to do here is use... One zombie and Patches and Smite to do the Mr. Smite combo. So we'll start off with trying to buff our bench a little bit better with Elise. Reno obviously going to try and absorb some damage whilst one zombie bounces. Okay. Frost. Nice. So we can go immune. <clears throat> do a bounce. We'll obviously still hit local R. Actually, um, we might hit Jaina here, actually. Just so Jaina hits into... Into Reno. And then we'll bounce. <clears throat> Hopefully a lot of uh, the missiles go onto Zamdi. Not necessarily the local art stuff, though. But the uh, Varden stuff. Okay, that's fine. Okay, at least did survive, which is good. Reno dies anyway, which is good. So we can keep at least alive still. Nice AOE. And then bounce. So hopefully full frost comes back out because Localar's missiles, if they don't hit Mr. Smite, we can do quite a lot of damage here. It may even be better to run Cornelius now. Because that's going to be quite slow. And then he'll take three less damage. Which is still take 
damage from Lucala, just not as much. And then we can bring out Zamdi and do it again in a minute. So I'm thinking, do it like this. <clears throat> a bit of corn in the middle. So we can just go two speed over here, three speed, and then nine speed. Yeah, full frost again, ideal. Let your essence congeal that protects this then. And then just the pirates are just the best. You can use Rukara again if you don't have patches, that still works. But you scale more by using the pirates because of Mr. Smite's uh, equipment. After a friendly character is damaged, turn gain 10 health and attack an enemy. His equipment is um, gains extra attack, not just health, from when a pirate is the one that's damaged. Okay, there we go. 38 is huge, though. Nice. We don't really want to be killing that Varden just yet. We want to kill the Varden last, don't know. Okay, don't die until we actually finish our sequence. Good. So then this just kills that. So full clear, almost, apart from the, obviously, the Jaina. We're going to still keep hitting the Jaina until Cornelius dies. But then that gives us the opportunity to bring out Zamdi again. We do swing it a few times. We gain more health than what we take from the Jaina, so that's good. And we're frozen, which is actually better, because now we're just going to gain health from this. And attack, obviously. Look at the size of it. So we should be able to just clear up with uh, Mr. Smite. So we can either go for a Zamdi and bounce. Make everything go into him, so that we have another thing. I think that's probably best. They're going to try and kill Patches or go all in on Mr. Smite. Okay. So this is going for an AoE. I think we just shoot that at two speed, honestly. And I'm not really scared about this. What are we scared about? Probably the Bane, honestly. Attack an enemy. Job done. That's fine. <laughs> we just want to snipe that. It doesn't matter where it goes. We're just going to go for a big AoE. This doesn't kill it, but it's fine. Double Fury is going to kill Zamdu. And then we kill that. So now it's uh, 2v2, but we have a... A monster that's going to be obviously attacking if they go for a cleave. And uh, I'm assuming this is Sinestro that we're just going to 8 speed. Oh, it's Belinda. With Frost. Ah, oh, wow. Of course it was Belinda. Oh, it's good. Fire weakness. What the actual hell is happening? They're all going to attack, so we'll just heal. This might go into that. This might go into that. So just in case it does, I think we're just going to attack something. We just win based on the actual size of him. Even if all three went into Mr. Smite, nothing's really going to happen. We got the heals every other turn with Elise. Yeah. Oh, and I actually went for that, so we could have cleared up. Because uh, we could have used the other one, the onboarding. Root isn't going to do anything. We'll attack that just in case it does a fire blast again. And then attack that for the kill. This isn't going to kill us. <clears throat> and it can't kill our Elise before our turn 6 speed unless they attack into it with the... Uh... Actually, yeah, it can kill it because this is shoot. And then this is going to obviously shoot as well. So this is die, so this will still be alive. But we'll attack here and then it's just uh, these two. A successful PvP Mr. Smite build, really. And there's other ways of doing it. I didn't even need to use Cornelius. 258. Awesome. And you can still gain health as well. Or gain attack, I mean. Once it's the end of the... Uh, the end of the fights. The 8 speed's a little bit sad. 
in five attack for each enemy with less than four so we're gaining attack still even with the smite slam <clears throat> i imagine they've just quit but that's gg's oh okay nice Okay, Frost or Old Gods. Old Gods are difficult because they get a ridiculously fast amount of damage if we bounce them back because they have, obviously, Yogg's Battlecry. I'm hoping it's not Old Gods. If it is, we can't bounce. And if we can't bounce, then we need Elise and Reno to die. It's not Old Gods. So we're bouncing. People try and Lich King out on ladder with Frost. Oh my god, is it gonna target neighbors? No, let's go Burrito. <clears throat> we can make it go here and just slow these two down if we wanted to. Instead of all three by doing this. But we wanna bounce. But the annoying thing as well is they have Jaina with Ice Block. Which means Cornelius is going to start obviously taking damage here. Okay, we have to bounce. We'll chip the Lich King because that's the right thing to do, I think. Or do we hit Jaina with it so that Jaina goes here? Do we want the seven? No, we'll just go for Jaina. At least then Jaina's going to hit Reno and not anything else like Zambi. Okay, so that's obviously slowed us the hell down. Missiles, not bad. The units, we're going to get killed off. All right, we go for the bounce. So, we're going for the combo now. Are we going to use Zambi? So, <clears throat> the good thing about using Cornelius is that every single swing only chips him down a little bit, so it's almost a guaranteed clear. Using Zambi, if he does die, which I can't see him dying unless they go all in on him and have crits, but they're using red units. So I think Cornelius is right here. But if they bring that Frost team out again, which they are, the Jaina is a bit sticky. <laughs> so with that, so that's not an issue. So we obviously do this, we do this. Once the five speeds go off, it's gonna obviously start triggering Mr. Smite until they all die. But we need to kill this last. And Jane is going to survive the attacks. Okay. So he goes for the middle anyway. So this is just an endless onslaught now until they die. So we have a really big Mr. Smite. We don't want to get... Well, we kill everything. Varden freezes at the end of the turn. So even if he dies now, it doesn't matter. Okay, so we pop Jaina. Now we just need to keep hitting until everything else dies. Nice, perfect sequence. Now Jane obviously still gets hit. Until Cornelius dies because obviously it's still alive. So yes, we sacrifice Cornelius doing this, but look at the size of our Mr. Smite. And this works with meta comps. This is, you know, this is taking down Frost. As soon as one of those Varden hits or local art hits hit anything, it's just an endless cycle of swinging. This is unfortunate. Actually, no, it wasn't. So usually, this would get frozen. We'll bring out the pirates, and then this would just gain health and attack. Oh, man, look. This max ability is refreshed by two, but death blow, it refreshes these, so we can go again. We don't want to get frozen out by whatever this bench is, so we might go Reno. Zambi's good because we can make up and attack him, but we don't need to do that yet because we don't have the combo. Ooh, Blink Fox is scary. We can't actually kill the Blink Fox. We do have to swing into that, though. <coughs> I really want to kill Jaina, but I don't think we need to. Actually, if he goes for a 5-speed, we do. So if he goes for a 5-speed, this would just kill it. Job done. 
seven. Yeah, that's enough. Okay, that should be fine. Hopefully he does go for the five speed. Just went for a one, seemed very underwhelming. Okay, he didn't, nice. That's good. A bit too much overkill over on the Blink Fox now, but I was expecting him to come out with a, um... With the Thrust unit. Which is actually scary for if he does do that now. So if he does that now, obviously he's going to freeze out our... Oh, it's 8 speed though. So we can actually play around it this turn. Are we going for the combo? I think we have to go for the combo. This is seven speed, so it's not actually gonna do much. So this hits here, kills it no matter what. This hits here, hopefully kills it because we're gonna go through the taunt if he goes for the taunt. And then to prevent this dying before that happens, there is no way. So this is seven, this is just gonna kill it. So this is just gonna attack this. So this actually can actually avoid we might end up hitting into that. Eight speed isn't good enough. We'll see. This is a very weird matchup. Oh, he's going for the AoE. But he heals up his Jaina, which is actually a mess. He didn't go for the Torn. This guy is crazy. The eight speed just hurts. Go for a bleed. Zombie is good, it can just shoot something, but I think the bleed's, the bleed's correct. Cookie Snipe, not good. 23, pretty good. Get rid of Cookie, the Snipe is actually worse than the Scaling, I think. Okay, we missed. Bleed is good, unless he gets a heal unit. Zambi takes the... Oh, it can't take the thing from him. We need that to go first. Do 24, otherwise Cookie's going to heal up. This is dead. The AoE might kill it, though. Root isn't good. Just in case it survives. If it doesn't, then obviously this is going to hit Cookie anyway. 3 speed just because we can. Nice. So it goes for the snipe. AoE is good. Absolute massive Mr. Smite, but a very weird ending to this this fight. 